Hey everybody, welcome back to another business analysis video. In today's video, we'll be talking about the business analyst role, expectations versus the reality of things, what you think a business analyst does and what the actual real, what we do in real life. Let's get right into it. So what is the first thing? The first thing is a defined daily routine for business analysts. So as business analysts, you might expect that we have a neat scheduled day full of analysis, business analysis and meetings. But in reality, business analysts often we juggle multiple tasks and um, we have to be able to adapt to unexpected changes and new demands. So um, it really is about flexibility, problem solving on the go. The reality involves a lot of routine analysis, a lot of documentation, and sometimes some monotonous groundwork. The excitement in business analysis comes in, <laughs> in waves, um, often around project milestones or during problem solving breakthrough. So we don't have like a specific schedule of things that we do. It's you have to be adaptable to changes in your project, in your organization as a business analyst. Now, the second expectation of the role is that we always have complete clarity on requirements. <laughs> no, uh, a lot of you, a lot of expectant business analysts might um, assume that requirements are clearly defined um, and it's just a matter of documenting them. But no, the truth is eliciting requirements is like doing detective work, you often find ambiguity and conflicting stakeholder interests that you need to navigate after having, sometimes you have your high level requirements, but it's not so clear. There's ambiguity in your requirements. Uh, you need to go back to clarify those requirements with the stakeholder. So our requirements are not always set and clear from the onset. Now, the third expectation is the nature of the problems solved. The expectation is that business analysts solve uniquely challenging and high level strategic problems every day. But while business analysts do solve these complex problems, a lot of time is also spent on addressing smaller, more routine issues that are critical to the success of the project. So the fourth expectation is technical skills and expertise. There is that common expectation that BAs must possess expert level technical skills and know every detail about the systems that they work with. My laptop just gone off. But anyway, in reality, while the technical understanding for business analysis is important, communication and analysis really, really take the front seat. What's wrong with my laptop? So really business analysts, we're not expected to code, but we're sort of expected to understand the impl implications of the technology on business processes. So as much as we focus on the business, we also need to have some sort of knowledge about IT. Now this leads me on to the fifth expectation, with, which is that IT is secondary to business knowledge. Some people might think that IT knowledge is not critical for a business analyst because we always say that as a business analyst, you don't need technical skills. You don't need coding, especially since the focus should be on the business side of things. Yes, while um, having that business acumen is vital, understanding those basics of IT is increasingly important, especially as technology is starting to become more integrated with business processes. So you'll find that a lot of times we are trying to integrate new system, automate manual processes into business processes. So as business analysts, we need to have some sort of IT or technical knowledge as well. Now, the sixth expectation is that business analysts always interact with a top level executives and stakeholder engagement is always straightforward. Mm, <laughs> no, not really. Uh, also, relatively, there is an expectation that if a solution is well researched, if you've researched a solution properly and you've articulated it well, it will be accepted and, and implemented smoothly as part of that interaction with your stakeholder. But in the reality of things, business analysts, we don't, um, we do interact with stakeholders at various level, not just at the top level. 
But it's not just about meetings with the executive. It involves negotiation, managing conflicts, conflicting interests, and often we're dealing with challenging personalities. Again, because stakeholders come from various perspectives, various pers- personalities, so it can be quite challenging to handle these sort of stakeholders. Again, the stakeholders that we have to interact with as business analysts. In addition to that, the reality can be quite different when it comes to the acceptance of change uh, by stakeholders because there are organizational politics, resistance to change and budget constraints which can affect the adoption of the solution. As business analysts, we really, really face a lot of challenges when it comes to stakeholder interaction and management. Now, the seventh expectation is the linear progression in projects. There is that expectation that every project will follow a smooth linear path from requirements to implementation. However, projects often experience setbacks, scope creep, scope changes uh, and evolving requirements that require us as business analysts to constantly adapt our approach. Link to watch a video about what scope creep means and various other challenges that you can face on the project. Please click the link to watch. Now, the eighth expectation is that every project you work on as a business analyst will be transformative and have a huge impact on the business. This is what you would expect. You expect things to go smoothly, right? The impact on the business is positive uh, and you're adding great value. Um, But while business analysts do work on these impactful projects, many projects have a more incremental effect. So it's not something that you experience immediately after you've gone live of the project. So the satisfaction often comes from improving processes, making users' lives easier rather than the company-wide transformation. So a lot of time you experience that transformation and value at the lower level rather than at the higher level company-wide. Now, the ninth one is the expectation that as business analysts, we work independently. Yes, we can work independently, but there is a lot of interaction with teams, with stakeholders. So as much as you might expect that we work autonomously um, with minimal supervision or collaboration, that's not always the case because business analysts, we usually work in the center of a collaborative environment. We don't always work independently because we're often bridging the gap between the different departments, the different functions and the teams that we work and the project teams that we work. So there is a lot of interaction with our our teammates, our colleagues, stakeholders. And yes, there is also some level of independent work when it comes to documentation. But as much as you're doing that independent work, you are still collaborating, reviewing and keeping your, your stakeholders up to date, really. Now, the 10th and final expectation, I know there is a lot more um, expectations around the BA role, but the 10th one is that many people believe that a career as a business analyst will have a fast upward trajectory and it's also an easy way to get into IT. Not always, right? Um, Without putting in the work, career growth can be steady, but it's not always fast. It often requires that continuous learning, certification, as well as the ability to adapt to various roles and industries. Um, In addition, you might expect that the BA role is sort of standardized across industry, but the reality is that the BA role can vary greatly depending on the industry that you work in, depending on the organization, depending on the project and the people that the type of people that you work with. But the core principles still remain the same, but the specifics of the job can differ. To get more understanding about our role in different industries and projects, click the link to watch an existing video about this. So while there are discrepancies between the expectations of the BA role and the actual what we do in real life, the reality, Our role is crucial and it can be highly rewarding once you finally get your foot in there, right? So if you're passionate about problem solving, facilitating change and driving business efficiency, then the real world role of a business analyst could be a perfect fit 
for you. So please share your thoughts and ask your questions in the comments below. If you're an existing business analyst, let us know if these realities resonate with you. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. You never know who it might help. Till I see you in my next one. Peace.